Hello, Wayne. I hear you are um, a candidate for the Nebraska Public Power Board, Subdivision 7. Um, that covers seven counties. It is Nance, Polk, Merrick, Clay, Adams, Hamilton, and York counties. Wayne, why would you um, be a good candidate for this position? I'd say number one on that, Michelle, it would be experience. I've had the opportunity to work around the world and uh, on three different continents and build power plants. I've actually built 13 power plants all from the ground up. And with those power plants come substations. You build substations, you build uh, transmission lines, distribution lines in some cases. But I've had a lot of experience with the equipment that goes in, in all of those. And so when you have that type of experience, uh, you would want that to be somebody that would, uh, on your board, if you're gonna elect somebody to go to a board, um, that type of experience is valuable uh, when it comes time to making decisions about like large projects that would be coming before the board for approval. And so if you've got that type of experience, that's what you would need to have on a board that would be making those type of decisions. Now you wouldn't want somebody that would be on the board that was say a candlestick maker, right? That was gonna be over a $5 billion company. You would want somebody out there that would be, uh, that has been in the business and seen it and understand it. If you put somebody on that board that has not had the experience within this industry, they're gonna struggle just to understand how everything works. They'll have to learn things to clear down into acronyms. They'll be talking about things in the, in the board level that they won't even understand. And it'll be a training session for the first couple of years for them just to get their feet on the ground. And then the experience side of it, they won't have the actual experience. So it's very important to use, to elect somebody to a position such as this that has had experience within that industry. Sure. Now, Wayne, I am a homeowner here in Nebraska and I know about electricity rates. So what can you do um, to help us keep electricity rates low in Nebraska? I, uh, I feel your pain when you talk about that because I'm a homeowner also, and I, I live right here in Nebraska and I've been here for quite a few years. And I also have a business. And I can say that uh, for people that are in manufacturing and people that own large businesses, that is very important to them. It's a line item right on their budget for the utility costs. And so I understand what it takes in order to maintain and keep utility rates low. Now, one of the things you've got to understand is that uh, you, in, in a business such as what MPPD is, it's, it's a very large business. And, and you've got costs that are from anyways from just your operational, your fuel costs, uh, capital projects, your overheads. And when you've got somebody that's going to be on that large of a scale of a project, uh, or I should say a company, then you're gonna need somebody that really has an understanding of a purview of, of those size of dollars, numbers, things like that. And so if you've got somebody that has actually been in that world and lived in that, they probably are gonna be able to make better decisions as to um, you know, what, what is a real capital project? What, what, is a, what is a need and what is a want? And, and we have to wash those things out almost in our, in our home budgets, but you've gotta do that at, at a corporate level also. So you're gonna need somebody in there that can then do that to help keep the rates low because if you can keep your expenses low, you can keep your rates low. And in order, in order for public power to survive within uh, Nebraska, we're gonna to have to keep these rates low. And uh, I'm a public power proponent. I, I love public power and I, my intention is to keep it going and we'll do that by keeping our rates low. Hmm. Thanks for sharing today, Wayne. Thank you, Michelle. And remember to go out and vote May 12th. You can register online to get your um, absentee ballot mailed to your house. Not sure if polling booths will be open at this point. So always better to um, just get out there and register so that you don't have to go to the polls. Thanks, Wayne. Thank you, Michelle.